Welcome. Let's go back to the beginning of the 20th century. It's 1904, and a young man, Abraham Ichak Tyszynski, arrives in the port of Rotterdam from Poland. Together with his wife, they open Hotel Polski, a lodging house for Eastern European Jews en route to the New World. But the entrepreneur Tyszynski sees another opportunity, cinema for the working class. The first one, Talia, opens in 1911 in a converted church. Together with Gustanovich and Ehrlich, he begins building an empire of affordable and more luxurious cinemas in the city. But Tyshinsky wants even more, a grand luxurious cinema in the capital, Amsterdam. Because nothing is impossible. The fantastic mix of styles in the facade, Amsterdam School, Art Deco and Jugendstil are designed to entice and beguile. Everything about the lavish interior Murals, lamps and the carefully selected furnishings is created to give his guests a memorable experience in a magical world. Abraham Tuschinski organizes gala premieres with international stars and introduces the red carpet. He uses a secret hatch to spy on who's in the foyer, running downstairs to greet his VIP guests in person. The eagle on the foyer floor is an ode to his Polish origins. Everyone was welcomed and taken to their seats by smartly dressed staff. In whatever comfortable seat you're in, the view of the screen is unobstructed. Tyszynski Theatre is not only luxurious, it's ingenious too. The balconies use a cantilever technique, eliminating the need for pillars. The building also houses a mystery. At night, when the theatre is empty, Creaks and groans can be heard. The Phantom of Tuschinski. Or well, that was the story anyway. During the day, the cantilevers supporting the balcony settle under the audience's weight. At night, they bend and groan loudly back into shape. The glorious fantasy world created by Tuschinski ends on May the 14th, 1940. In just 15 minutes, his home and all his cinemas in Rotterdam are destroyed. Two years later, he's deported to Auschwitz, never to return. This is the only theatre to have survived the war. Its current owner, French cinema chain Pate, has restored the theatre back to its original magic. Many national and international films premiere here. In the spirit of Abraham Tuschinski, grand, luxurious, with a red carpet graced by the biggest stars. Pate Theatre Tuschinski has been officially named the most beautiful cinema in the world and celebrates its 100th birthday on October the 28th, 2021. And Abraham Tuschinski's greatest legacy, creating a warm welcome and a memorable experience, is what KLM stands for as well. So, in his honor for his 102nd birthday, KLM has chosen Pate Theatre Tuschinski as its Delft Blue House 102. <laughs>